This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a first watch, model 3803 padlock. This is a 40 millimeter wide solid brass padlock with a six pin core, a six millimeter hardened steel shackle, and a ball bearing locking mechanism. If this lock seems a bit familiar, it's probably because I recently featured the aluminum version of this lock in video number 610. If you are interested in seeing that video, I'll leave a link in the description below. But what we're going to do today is focus on the brass version, see what it takes to pick into it, and then of course I will take it apart to show you what's inside. This lock has a standard American lock keyway, and the way I usually deal with that is with a 50 thousandths thick pry bar for top of the keyway tension and a standard hook in 18 thousandths. Okay, one is loose. Little click out of two. Click out of three. Nothing on four, five. Click out of six, back to the beginning. Nothing on one. Click on two. Nothing on three. Click on four. Nothing on five or six. Okay, nice fat click out of one and a bit of movement on the core. Nothing on two, three, four. Okay, little counter rotation on five. Okay, got a click out of him. And six. Got a click and now some counter rotation. Okay, we got him set back to the beginning. Nothing on one, two, three, four, counter rotation, and we got it open. Okay, so a little bit of fight out of here and definitely some spools in this lock. So let's take it apart and take a look at the pinning. Looks like we have a Phillips screw down the shackle hole to open this up. Okay, and it looks like we'll need a clip remover to disassemble the core. That's always fun when you find a hair in a lock that you've never had apart before. Wonderful. Okay, now we should be able to take this apart with the key and a follower. Okay, it's a six pin core and all of the chambers are pinned up. Let's start taking these key pins out. Looks like we have a standard steel anti-drill pin in slot one, a serrated pin in slot two, same in three, Four is being a bit shy. Let me get a pick to help that one out. Okay, a serrated pin in f in four. And there we go. Five and six are serrated pins as well. Let me get these organized the way I think they were. Now you'll note that three of the key pins do not have sh serrations and they are the shortest ones. That's a pretty normal thing in cores like this. The reason for it is it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to put serrations on those super short key pins because there's no possibility that the serrations will come into play. Okay, for the driver pins, we have a standard steel anti-drill pin in slot one, a spool in slot two, same in slot three, same in four, same in five, and same in six. And it looks like all of the springs are the same. Okay, let me give you a close up of all this. Okay, for those key pins, once again, we 
once again we have three standard pins and three in slots two, three, and four with serrations. Then for our driver pins, we have a standard steel anti-drill pin in slot one, and then all spools in slots two through six. Moving over to the core, I don't see anything particularly unusual about this. We have that American lock keyway and a horizontal actuator that is not bypassable, so that's always nice to see as well. Okay, so that's all I have for you on this first watch, model 3803 brass padlock. If you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.